Hi folks, it's Max from DreadRaiserRoot.com. Uh, so I've got a quick ROM overview of CM 10.1 AOSP CM 10.1 uh, Android 4.2.2 ROM for your Droid Razor. It is available for your uh, CDMA or GSM Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max. Droid Razor Max is pretty much the same as Droid Razor with bigger battery. Uh, make sure you pro install the appropriate version if you have Verizon. Install the uh, CDMA XT912. If you have GSM, install the uh, XT910 version. Uh, this is an official version now uh, for your Droid Razor, and uh, this version does not uh, have um, HDMI working. So if you want, if you use the HDMI mirroring function or your um, web top, uh, you're not going to get with this ROM, and uh, don't install it if you use that often. Uh, but otherwise, very solid ROM, and I've been actually running this for a week. I mean, it is still a development version. It's not. You know, supposedly stable, stable, but um, I haven't found that many problems, uh, other than, you know, sometimes, sometimes it does lock up, uh, but pretty nice ROM. The camera works flawless on this, uh, this ROM, very nice. So you will not have any problems with uh, the camera, and also system settings. Uh, if you go to uh, mobile networks. If for some reason you're not getting 4G LTE, you can set it to LTE CDMA ED, EVDO. And if you want to save battery life, you can set to CDMA EVDO, which will drop you back to 3G, but uses way less battery. Um, so emergencies, you can do that. And also you can switch it back uh, to 4G LTE very easily using those menus. Let me show you around. You see I'm on 3G now. Let me go ahead and switch it back to uh, 4G LTE. I'll choose LTE, CDMA, EVDO, and that will switch you back. Let me just kind of walk you through some of the stuff you can do with this ROM. Uh, for the launcher, you can you know, increase the number of drawers. I also recommend installing a Nova Launcher. I, I like it over the, the uh, stock launcher there. And also in lock screen, you'll be able to do various stuff like screen security, a background battery status, clock widget, uh, maximize widgets, a slider shortcuts, you can set different shortcuts up to four different shortcuts. And also make sure you hit save, otherwise it will not save. Uh, button actions, don't use that one, there's another one you can use. Uh, themes, you can download any Sinogen mod compatible themes or AOKB themes uh, and change your theme. And also in system status bar, you'll be able to change various stuff like uh, brightness control. Uh, using notification bar to control the brightness of your screen. Or also show notification count for your Gmail, uh, other stuff that shows notifications. It'll show you the number of notifications. And also power menu, you'll be able to take screenshots easily by adding the screenshot there and taking a screenshot there. Uh, very nice. And also notification light, you can add uh, your favorite applications that uh, like email, Gmail, and set your custom uh, color. And also you can change the uh, pulse and I like to make it long um, that way I don't miss it and you'll see that it's pulsing in red and you can do that for all of your favorite applications uh, that is very nice here's where you can customize your hardware keys uh, you can do you know change the home what the home key does menu key does search key does and also change the long press actions which is very handy um, and also there is hidden menus and developer options you can enable kill kill app back button you will have to reboot for this to work um, that will allow you to hold down the back button to kill apps oh, actually it's working now you don't have to reboot there you go uh, so that's kinda cool and also let me show you um, in system settings there's additional uh, stuff you can do like the quick settings panel here this is the panel that shows up right here when you use two fingers now if you want to use one finger you can set it to the right or left and just use one finger now and also the left will show your notifications there that looks a little <laughs> a little bit weird there um, also you can change the layout you can add uh, more quick toggles you know that's not there sync in there and maybe you can put that at the top if you want anywhere you want and that will show up right away and uh, also sound modes there also if you go back to uh, power menu quick uh, notification drawer there you can enable this power widget uh, basically 
these are the smaller widgets, the traditional like scrollable widgets. Um, you can also add those if you want to see your notifications along with your quick toggles and also you can change add more uh, toggles there and change the button order there very easy and that way you can see your notifications and also um, also your toggles there which is like the traditional way instead of the other way which is kind of huge um, so that kind of outlines all the things you can do and also let me show you the lock screen uh, so I have one shortcut right now and also you can add the clock weather widget here um, here we go this is the widget here and this is nice it can show you the weather and also it will show you um, what you gotta do uh, your calendar it will pull events from your calendar and let's say you wanna set this as a home then go ahead and hold down on the card and move it to the right there you go and uh, when I open my phone now I can see the weather also see my events if I swipe down uh, so very nice little handy uh, widget to have and also you can put it on your home screen also uh, but that kinda co covers everything about this ROM I see I'm 10.1 but it is very solid and also if you have um, Google search now it's if it force closes don't worry about it just go to the Play Store uh, update the Google search app there's an app yes just type Google search and update that and it will work right away and uh, other than that yeah try it out um, you know if you're tired of Moto Blur uh, and you wanna run like pure Google Android 4.2.2 definitely check this one out again HCMI is broken but everything else is near flawless uh, but you know this ROM is still experimental I mean you can use it as daily driver but you might still find bugs I'm just telling you because it's not a stable version um, but it seems pretty solid good enough for daily driving and if you're tired of the motor blur stuff definitely check this one out and do let me know what you think and uh, yeah that's about it and uh, if you have a droid razor as always don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, droidrazorroot.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys soon um, go try it out I think you guys will like it alright see you later